Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gunk Education YouTube channel. My name is Courtney and today I'm going to be taking you through an SFX meets editorial gunk must look. Starting off by just clipping her hair back, I then cleanse and tone her skin using the Strictly Professional range to remove any dirt or unwanted textures on the skin. Then I start my look by using my Meron Modelling Sim Wax to create a peeling skin effect around the eyes and the mouth. Sim Wax can be difficult to use so you just have to play around with it until you can achieve the look you're going for. I find rubbing it in between my hands helps as it softens the wax so it's easier to apply on the skin. It can still be quite sticky from the warmth of your own hands, so I use the end of a paintbrush to help blend in the edges and use as a tool to help stick down the wax a bit better. Once I've completed this, I use my Krylon liquid latex and a normal paintbrush to just stick down the edges of my wax, as depending on the model, the warmth on the face can make the wax fall off. After I've played around with the wax and ensured it is up to a good standard by being stuck securely onto the face, I move on to the colouring. I'm going for a dark and bloody flesh-like colour, so for this I use my Krylon Supra and Aqua colour palettes to use my reds, purples, blacks and even some greens to create a dark undertone for my blood to look darker. Once I've done this, I use my Crown Concealer Palette to just go over any blemishes on the skin and even out the wax colour and my model's skin colour. Now for the fun part, I break up the candy canes and put them directly into the wax on my model's face for the effect that they're coming out of her skin. They can be really hard to use once again so it's just playing around with the wax until the candy canes are secured into the face.
I then apply my blood. Normally I use Krylon FX or Supreme Blood, but I'm using a fake blood tube. It still gives the same effect and I put it over my areas where I applied my colours. Once that is all done, it's time for the snow. I just brought some decorative snow and used my Krylon latex again to apply to the face, around the candy canes and just a few parts of the face. The snow can get really messy, but that's okay. After this is all done, I then do my model's hair, simply backcombing her hair to create a messy look and putting my decorative snow all throughout her hair and adding some Christmassy bows. And finally, my look is complete. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and Merry Christmas from me and the Gunk Team.